What's up guys, my name is Ali and today's video I'm going to be talking about how to show the CPU temperature for people who have um, an integrated uh, graphics card with their CPU and how to, show the how to show the motherboard and how to show power supply unit and UPS load and along with a lot of other items that you cannot see by default uh, using MSI or burner. So in today's video I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be talking about all these so uh, without any further ado, without, <laughs> without any further ado, let's just get it. Okay guys, so now I'm on my computer and this is MSI Afterburner. So normally when you want to go to settings and you go to monitoring and uh, by default, yeah. So by default here we have all of these items and you may be able to see the CPU temperature if you have a dedicated uh, graphics card but if you have an integrated graphics card you will not be able to see the CPU temperature uh, here you will not be able to monitor it by default from uh, MSI Afterburner I guess you understand what I mean I understand what I mean uh, so what you want to be doing is you click on these three dots and then enable this one hwinfo.dll and then click OK and now you will be able to see your CPU temperature and motherboard temperature, fan speed, CPU voltage, along with all of these items, just like I talked in my previous video. So you will be able to monitor all of these. So um, the one you want to monitor, for example, I want to monitor this motherboard temperature. Make sure to click on this one shown on screen display and also CPU temperature. Click on shown on screen display until you see this one in OSD, which means in on screen display. So click on <coughs> apply and then hit on OK. Right, so now you still, when you want to monitor, you, you will not be able to see the motherboard and CPU temperature and uh, all of these ones that you have just enabled. You want to go about it is you want to download this tool called HWinfo. So click on download and then free download and then choose the host, and choose the server and that's gonna download it for you. All right, so it's right here. I already downloaded it. But it's just so small file I'm just gonna have it downloaded so and once that open you want to extract the file say I want to extract it to uh, this card for example and yeah so right now I have it right here so you have these this one for the 32 bit and this phone for 64 bit so mine is 64 bit I'm gonna open that click on OK. You want to enable sensors only. This is the first important thing you want to do and then you want to go to settings and you want to enable all these. So one, two, three, four and then click on OK and then just leave the rest as it is. So click OK and then you want to run. And so once you hit on run it's gonna run in the background right here so as you can see it is right here all right so now say you want to monitor so after i did mon like enabled all of these ones like this and this and this now we will be able to see it so if you click on combustor and run stress test right now it's gonna be a little bit laggy but because i'm recording so you have motherboard temperature right here and also you have the cpu temperature right here okay guys and if you want to enable all the other items just like i said you can do so using the same tool all right guys so this is it i hope this video was helpful i know i uh, like i did talk about it but i got a lot of comments uh, like having the same problem so maybe this will be helpful for you guys and maybe it makes it just clear for you to understand what what is the main issue and why you cannot monitor these the cpu temperature um, especially so thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in another video so peace out